Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. I've got a quick and easy card for you today. The whole thing only took me 13 minutes to make, so it's a good one if you're a bit pressed for time. To start with, I took a four by six inch piece of smooth white cardstock, put it on one of my scoreboards, and then scored about two inches worth of lines, one quarter of an inch apart, to create a embossed area. So I scored on the back of the panel and when I flipped it over I've got some lovely parallel lines running across the top of my card. The next thing I did was to create a little bit of mixed media from which to cut my focal point. I've got saltwater taffy distress oxide here and I'm smushing it on a bit of mixed media paper with my smusher. If you want to know how to make a smusher there is a video linked above and down below. Once that was dried, I popped it in my stamp positioner, gave it a good going over with corn flour to remove any static or greasy fingerprints, and then used a mixed media text stamp to do some heat embossing. I gave it a good going over with embossing ink and a good pressing down. And then I dipped my panel into some gold embossing powder and then heated it with my heat tool and I'm leaving this bit in because it is just such a joy to watch that dull powder turn into that beautiful bright gold. Next I cut a heart from my mixed media panel using one of my nesting heart dies and then I added my scored panel onto the front of a 4 by 6 inch card blank. I didn't leave any border around the edge, I wanted it to be a completely flat panel, if you see what I mean. Next I added some foam tape to the back of my heart and then I stuck the heart onto a slightly larger heart that I'd cut from vellum to give it something behind it. Then I used some tape runner to stick that over the scored lines. For a sentiment I've chosen the word hello in a scripty font and I cut that from black cardstock but before I cut it I backed the cardstock with some sticks to double sided craft foam. And this is a really quick way of adding dimension to your sentiment. You could cut multiple black sentiments, stack them, glue them together and stack them. But this is a quicker way if you're looking for a time saving tip. Use some double sided self adhesive craft foam, run it through your die cutting machine with the paper stuck to it. And then it is a bit fiddly, but you can pull out all the little bits that you need to pull out. I did end up sticking the hello back onto the release paper because it's incredibly sticky this craft foam and it just kept sticking to my fingers and frustrating me so putting it on the release paper I was able to hold it down without getting stuck to it and I could use my tweezers to pull out all of the uh, little bits in the loops of the letters. Once that was done I was then able to stick it on my card front and I layered it on top of my heart. For a finishing touch I added three peachy coloured enamel dots that go really well with that salt water taffy and as I say it's a really simple really quick card even including making a bit of mixed media it only took me 13 minutes if you've got a stack of bits of pretty paper that you've made or scrapbook paper ready to go so you don't have to do the mixed media part this is the kind of card you could probably knock out in about eight minutes I reckon. So there you go, a quick and easy clean and simple card for you today. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope it's given you some ideas, if it has do subscribe, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit that notification bell, all the good things and I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now.